Hello, and welcome to another edition of the STM32 technical video series. Today we will discuss the clock configuration tool available for the STM32 F2 family. This is an Excel spreadsheet based tool that uses macros to auto generate C, C code that you can insert into your project. First, we're going to go to www.st.com to the micros and memories page. Then we click on microcontrollers. The STM32F family. Then we'll go to resources. If we scroll down to AN3362, we can find the clock configuration tool application note. On the left is the PDF, on the right is a resources link associated with a zip file. So here's the application note. We won't go into great detail on that here, but you can read that at your leisure. Now we'll grab the zip file, unzip it and save it. And we'll open up the STM32F2.xls spreadsheet. We need to make sure that macros are enabled first. We click on the macro security button, enable all macros, and hit OK. Now if we click on the view button, we can hide the toolbars on the top. There are two different modes to use this tool. There's wizard mode and expert mode. First we'll cover the wizard mode. On the left we can enter our crystal value we'll use. It defaults to 25 megahertz or 25,000 kilohertz. Here I'm changing it to 8 megahertz crystal. We can also change things like the VDD voltage. Also defaults to 3.3, we'll make that 3. The flash weight states associated with that voltage that are available. And here we'll change the output frequency of the core we want to use, 120 megahertz. Then we can hit run, choose our clock source, internal or external, hit OK, and it will fill in the PLL values for us. Here we can see the HSE has been selected, all the PLL register values populated 120 megahertz and then our prescalers and timer and peripheral clock settings if we change our voltage to 1.8 volts we see that the flash weight states also change we can also enable other clock chains, uh, the I2S clock, and the USB 48 megahertz clock. Once we make those settings, we'll have to rerun the macro, and we can see those settings take. We can then hit the generate button and this will generate a C file that we can use with the STM32 firmware library. And here we can see all the comments and pound defines that are used for this file that have been auto generated.
Next, we'll look at using the expert mode of the tool. Just click on expert. We'll once again, uh, make a crystal value change here. And now we can go in and manually select the clock source and the PLL settings. You can see we have our 48 megahertz for our USB. We'll select the PLL. Now we can see our 120 megahertz for our core there and all the other prescaler pre settings. If we try to put in a legal value in, like a 60 megahertz P clock one, <coughs> we can see we get a warning message there and it won't let us do that. Also for the VDD voltage, if we put a out of range voltage like five volts in, we'll also get a warning for that. That's not allowed. And then generate our C code once again. AN3362 provides additional information on getting started, software requirements and hardware requirements, the clock scheme of the F2 part, weight state information, and tutorials on the wizard mode and expert modes. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it.